Ahoj! Say with me. Zeppen micro 2 equals to tasty B-roll. In my last video, I really wanted to step up the game. I really wanted to step it up, so I was using a slider. I wanted to get those very highly cinematic, commercial looking like professional shots. Sure, I could have done it handheld, but that's not the same. So, I was using a slider and I have such a slider here. I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm gonna show you what it can do. I'm gonna show you how to use it, what you can achieve with it. All the details, you know, I'm very detailed. At least you tell me that in the comments. So today's video is not a sponsored one. However, they did send the product here for a review. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Zdenka Darola. If you are into photo, video, tech reviews and creative camera challenges, you might consider clicking that subscribe button. First of all, a rep from Zeppen contacted me a while ago, a while back, offering me this slider for a review and I turned them down because I thought I have a steady hands, I have a tripod, I have a gimbal, I have all that. I don't really need one. And then I was planning a whole bunch of highly creative shoes for you guys to show you in the winter, throughout the winter, like a boxer, a hockey player, makeup artist, eyelash company, um, hip hop dancer, restaurant, bartender. There, there's lots coming up. And then I realized, wait a second, how am I gonna get those really steady, very close shots of eyelashes being put on the eyes? How am I gonna get those very steady close-up shots of makeup artists applying the eyeshadow on the eyes. Yeah, and then I realized I actually might need a slider. There are many different sliders out there. You can choose from so many products. Some of them are very big. You need sometimes even two tripods. They are hard to store. They are hard to take from place to place. And there are also motorized ones, but that's a whole different ball game. Uh, they are high-end, but also they might be a little bit more expensive. So this one is quite different. As the title already suggests, Micro 2. It is a small, lightweight, affordable, easy for transport slider. Timeless. Why? It is all manual. There is no battery you need to worry about. There is no firmware update needed. There are no electronics. Also perfect for beginners. Let's unbox this thing already and set it up. The first box here has Micro 2 rail slider itself. It is 33 centimeters or 13 inches long. It weighs 1.1 kilograms or 2.43 pounds. And you can put on it up to impressive 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. What you will also find in a box is user manual, warranty card, carry case, quick wrench, and a quarter to 3 eighths screws. Let me show you how you can attach those two parts together. First, you need to remove this quick release by simply releasing it right here. You take it off. Next, you have this knob, which you will turn around as you are attaching it to the slider right here. Once you have it nice and tightened, you can attach the quick release back if you want to, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I want to because I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to put it nicely back again. And by the way, these legs are adjustable by simply turning them. You can make them longer, higher, or shorter. Let's look at the slider closely. There are two locks in the middle, which keep the slider from moving. That way, it is just easy to move it around or carry it in a bag. When you press the locks in, it will unlock and you are ready to use the slider. The slider is only 33 centimeters or 13 inches long, but when it extends to the side, you are getting 54 centimeters or 21 inches. That is great for such a small slider. Let's look at the second box. Here is Easy Lock 2 Low Profile. What you will find inside is Easy Lock 2 Profile Mount, Ball Head, User Manual, Warranty Card, Quick Wrench, quarter to three eight screw. 
The weight of this part is 570 grams or 1.2 pounds and safety capacity is 15 kilograms or 33.11 pounds. The ball hat can turn your camera in any direction. Here is where you attach your camera and here is where you attach it to slider. To mount it on a tripod is super easy. I'll just take it off, attach it right here and when I need it on a tripod, snap the whole part in. I have to use sandbag to make sure it's not going to flip over because my tripod is very light. To show you how it works, I'm just gonna set it here on a table. Once you unlock the slider and start moving it to the side, and once again, you will see that the total travel distance is 54 centimeters or 21 inches as it expands. The speed is a very even with damping. You can go very slow or you can go faster. You control your own speed. Let's go ahead and let me show you some cool moves you can do with this setup. Let me show you how you can actually improve your footage, whether you are filming at 24 frames per second in real speed, or if you are filming in a slower motion like 60 frames per second and you want those really high-end professional looking like super steady, smooth, tasty shots. First one is a side move. Here is a handheld shot in the real speed. This is the best I can do to have a nice and steady shot. Here is the same shot with the slider. Do you see the difference? You will get the nicest footage if you are using some sort of foreground, especially if you are using wide angle lens. Otherwise, the move won't be visible. The best lenses to use with sliders are usually telephoto or some closer lenses forwards and backwards slowly pushing in or slowly backing off don't be afraid to even use manual focus and start with the blurry shot slowly sharpening the object or vice versa third one is here when you attach your slider to a tripod you can also do up and down shots again make sure your tripod is super sturdy and heavy if it's not just make sure you add weight at the bottom so it doesn't tip over and the last very cool creative shots are when you lift one side of the slider and then go sideways or forward and back. Uh, you can actually leave the camera on the top and let it slide on its own. You don't even have to hold it. If you don't mind that speed, you can just let it go on its own. And the possibilities are endless. This is perfect for beginners because there is no motor. There is no confusion there. You just put that camera on it and start sliding very easy to use this is also perfect for experienced videographers if you need something which is compact you can take it with you on different locations i can see that being used quite a bit this will be perfect for some bar someone who doesn't have a gimbal yet um, this can definitely improve your shots besides handheld shots or you can get it even though you already have gimbal because it does different things and different effects I will for sure use it lots when I am actually showing products I'm talking about. So <clears throat> normally I would just put it on a, um, on a tripod and do some kind of moves like that, but this will drastically improve those shots for sure. Also, like I mentioned, you know, those close up shots, somebody doing something like the makeup part is applying eyeshadows. You can absolutely use it for anything. If you want to check out the product, the link is in the video description below. Those are international links, so it will display the currency depending on where you live. All you have to do now is hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video, subscribe to all future videos. Let me know in a comment section below. What do you think of this slider? Do you use a slider? Um, what kind of slider do you have and all that? I'm really excited to hear from you. I would love to read them and I always read all the comments. Or if you just want to say hi or ahoy, you can do so there as well. And again, I will see everyone in the next video. Ciao, ahoy. But now I'm still gonna play a little bit with this.